Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this looping text animation background in After Effects without using any third party plugin. This is very easy to create and looks very professional. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps and duration you can go with whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now we are going to create another composition or you can just simply select this, press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Now let me just clear rename this to text and let's open up this composition. And after that you can select the text tool and just click and you can type whatever you want. I'm going to type kinetic typography. Now let's select the text and let's align it to the center of this comp using this panel. And now let's move its anchor point in the center. So select the layer, hold on the control key and double click on this. After that, let me just quickly select this and press S to scale this down. So this is completely up to you. You can scale it however you want. So yeah, I think this is looking fine. Now we have to trim the comb to the size of this text. So in order to do that, just simply go to composition, composition settings. And after that, let's lower down the width and the height as well. So I think we are going to set this to 1000. So this is completely up to your text, 1000 by 90. Now you can see that we have this sort of comb and I'm going to quickly lower its size a little bit something like this so yeah this is looking fine now we can go back to the main comp and i'm going to quickly drag my text into this so on this one we are going to apply a couple of effects so first i'm going to type cc reptile just drag it onto this and i'm going to expand the right side so you can see that our text is visible and let's do the same thing on the left side as well now, first we are going to do some animation on to this single layer, then we are going to duplicate it multiple times. So for that, I'm going to apply another effect called offset. Just drag it onto this and make sure that this offset is before the CC tile. Otherwise you will have weird kind of glitches. Now we can move this and animate it using the slider. So just click on this stopwatch. And after that, you can enable the rulers. So press control R to get the ruler and after that just simply drag and let's place the ruler point to at the edge of this text something like this so this will act as a base now we can move the timeline indicator to somewhere around six seconds and after that we can move the shift center to so let's just place it at negative 500 something like this so now you can see that we have both the locations over here so we can probably get rid of the ruler press ctrl r and after that just move this line now we can see that we have a perfect animation so we can press n to trim the area to the this region so now if i play back here you can see we have this infinitely looping animation which is exactly what we want so now we can select the text and let's press ctrl d to duplicate it now you can hold the shift key and use the arrow keys to move the text up so i'm going to just press it five times something like this now you can see both the text are going into the same direction and we want to flip the direction of one of these texts so you can select the layer press u after that just select the keyframes then right click under keyframe assistant just time reverse keyframes so now if I play back here, you can see we have the animation going in the opposite direction. So now we can create a bunch of different copies. So let me just quickly select this top layer. And after that, press Ctrl T to duplicate it. And again, I'm just going to move this somewhere around here. Now all you have to do is just simply duplicate the alternative one. So let's select this, press Ctrl D and let's just place it somewhere around here. So you can see we have we are getting this kind of animation so press ctrl d just start placing it so there you go now you can see we have all the layers and if i play back you can see that the alternative layer is going into the opposite direction so now let's just select the alternative layers something like this and let's change their color let's make them lavender and after that you can search for fill and just drag it onto one of these layers and now you can copy this color and just paste it onto the other layers 
So now you can see we have this alternating pattern. Now let's add a distortion mesh. So right click, go to new and let's add an adjustment layer. We are going to apply mesh warp. So just search for it and drag it onto this. Now over here, I'm going to change the number of rows to three and the columns to three as well. The quality, we are going to set this to eight. Now you can select the mesh warp and you can see we have these three columns. And now it's completely up to you. you can click on any of these columns and you can just simply move it around and you can see that it will start distorting your text. Now I'm going to select this one and just move it down and let's do the same thing with this one as well. Something like this. And we can probably select this one and we can move it somewhere around here. Also, you can use these handles to give it a really nice twist, something like this. Just like that. Now this is completely up to you. You can play around with these values and you can get different kind of results. Something like this. So now you can see we have this really nice bulge over here. And now if I play back, here you can see we have the animation going on. Now we want to add a little bit of shadow over here so that it looks more realistic. So now to do that, just simply select the pen tool. And after that, just draw a random shape. Something like this. Now let's change its color to black and on this one let's apply Gaussian Blur. Just drag it onto this. Now we can increase the blur amount quite a bit and after that select this press T for opacity and let's set this to 50%. So there you go now you can see we have this really nice dark area and you can play around with its position to adjust the shadow. Something like this. So there you go now you can see we have this sort of look. And it's completely up to you. You can adjust the mesh however you want. You can pick whatever point you want and you can just play around with it and it will give you a different kind of look. So this is completely up to you. So in order to add glow to this, just right click and add an adjustment layer. And on top of this one, let's apply glow. And also just make sure to place this layer below the mesh warp. And after that, just increase the glows little bit and let's decrease the glow intensity. Now you can select the group, press Ctrl D and after that just play around with these values, something like this. There you go. Now you can see we have this really nice kinetic typography animation. If you want, you can play around with the colors of the alternative text to give you a really nice result, something like this. Now once you're happy with your animation, let's make it into a perfect loop. So in order to do that, just simply right click trim comp to work area. Now you can select all of these layers and just right click and pre-compose let's call this animation after that click on ok now i'm going to quickly change the comp duration so i'm going to set this to 30 now we can zoom out and let's select this layer you can right click go to time and enable time remapping now hold on the alt key just click on the stopwatch and type this expression loop out pick the end point and just drag it to wherever you want and let's just move it to somewhere around here so if i play back here you can see we have this infinitely looping animation and you can just render this out and use it wherever you want so this is how you can create these kind of looping backgrounds and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and some exclusive templates that are available only on patreon also if you have any queries or questions then you can ask in the comments below so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.